of days ago, I shared a video. <laughs> Take this off. <laughs> a couple, it's kind of cold out here. Uh, a couple of days ago, I shared a video about the whole year or longer that after I got out of the Navy, I was extremely depressed. I was like at one of the many low points in my life, but it was pretty hard that year. It was probably one of the more lower points because I had actually felt that I don't know if I could continue on. So I thought, well, let me share some ways that I have since then learned to really work through those dark times. And the main theme of everything that I'll share any time is, is all about getting uncomfortable. What does that mean, getting uncomfortable? Well, it could be something as simple as going into your shower, into your bathroom, and you know, after at the end of your shower, turning on the cold water and taking like five seconds in that cold shower. Because you don't want to do that. No one wants to take a cold shower. And you may have heard that before, that it works. But it's really, when we are in places of, I would call it like a, a repeat pattern of thinking and believing and the stories that we tell ourselves, when we get stuck in those patterns of thought, it's really fucking hard to get out of it. You just keep repeating the same scenario, the same thoughts, the same feelings, and our energy can just be on a loop and be on a loop and be on a loop. And it's called a funk. <laughs> and we all get in certain funks. And the body and changing the state of the body is like really the quickest way. So a five second cold shower at the end of your hot shower, like a five second of cold. Um, for me, something that really helped, uh, I, I sold my house back in 2018 and I lived in my camper for years and having to go outside to use the bathroom to brush my teeth in the middle of winter. Talk about not thinking about the past. I was like, okay, having to deal with the cold wind and rain on my face and my body all the time. And these little things helped me along the way to get out of my own way, to get out of my head, to get out of my thoughts. Now the practice of yoga, and, I'm, and this is not a, you know, me sponsoring that you do yoga, because I'm pretty sure people can get really sick of me telling you to do yoga. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it really works because you start, you start to learn to breathe and to do uncomfortable things with your body. And our body is the storehouse of all the thoughts and the feelings that we carry around about ourselves from our childhood, from adolescence, from being on the playground, from not being accepted, not feeling like we're good enough, not feeling like we're worthy of things that are better in our lives. And a lot of people can just get, we just get stewed up and stirred up in those same thought patterns. So using the body to change and breathe and make a difference is, is really like, is a really a helpful thing. So again, cold shower for five seconds. Uh, moving your body. I mean, you could even dance in your living room. You can sing and things like that. It's just moving the energy, changing your state. So today I'm actually going out on a boat <laughs> and I'm doing something that I've, I'm just doing something I don't do. I, I could stay in my yoga studio space and massage space and stay all warm and cozy, but I'm choosing to go out on a fishing vessel and put some crab pods out in the water and kind of get uncomfortable. I know I was in the Navy for a long time, but my job was inside and I didn't stand out in the freezing cold and do this kind of stuff. So constantly putting yourself in new situations where you're really uncomfortable helps. It helps you to understand like, I do not like that, or oh, that felt really awesome. I'm really happy to learn something new. These are the things that can help us when we're in deep states of depression. Now I get it. I know that there are those days where you can't even get the fuck out of bed. I get it. And I'm not asking you to get out of your bed right now and go get on a fishing boat. <laughs> but the days where you can muster up the energy and the courage to go do something different, take a drive. So one time when I was in massage, I'm going to come down and take a little squat here. One time when I was in massage school in 2018, I took a four day hiatus and turned my phone off for four days and went camping and driving around and with no no radio, no phone, no cell service, I just turned everything off for four days and I just 
wrote, you know, rode around and wrote, wrote in my, my journal and camped and came back a few days later. That helped me a lot so I could see what the hell was going on inside of me. But really just getting, all right, uh, really just, you know, being uncomfortable. <laughs> well, the boat crew's yelling at me, we're about to take off shortly, so I'm going to end this video. But this is the vessel that I'm going to go out on. I'm real excited. And melted here and it's a little bit a lot warmer today because we were covered in snow and ice for the past what three or four days um, I hope that that this perspective can help you a little bit do not hesitate to reach out to me and and if you're in a certain situation and you're looking to do something different get out of your comfort zone I'd be happy to help you but let me tell you we cannot do this alone and sometimes your friends aren't the people that are gonna help you out of your funk because friends sometimes are in their own funk as well, okay? So we can't just depend on friends and family because they're dealing with their own shit. <laughs> Some people are just, they can't help others because they're trying to help themselves. So what I'm telling you is that there are professionals, whether you go get a massage, where you take a yoga class, and I'm getting on the boat now, here we are, or you just go and ask someone that's willing to help listen and help you out. For me, it was my colon therapist, it was my massage therapist, <laughs> it was the yoga teachers, it was all of these people in the, on the path that I would go to these places and they were able to hold space for me through my really shitty times in life. But we have to get out of our own way. We cannot do this alone. This is why I love making these videos because I know that we can't be alone during this time. We can, we can cocoon, but then some days we got to get up, get out, and go ask for some help. All right, so here's the crab pots I think we're putting in the water today. And this is the uh, cool boat that we get to go out on. I'm real excited. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I am sending you lots of love from the Pacific Coast, Westport, Washington. May you have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. For our fall down up.